shooting, like any other interesting activity, comes with its own vocabulary. I'm Juliana Crowder, founder of A Girl and a Gun, and I'm here to get you started reading and speaking gun talk fluently. To start out, here are some of the basic distinctions that you need to understand while shopping for guns and ammo. FMJ versus hollow point. FMJ or full metal jacket is used for practice and is designed to make one hole in and one hole out. Hollow point is used for self-defense because the bullet flattens when it hits its intended target, causing it to lose speed and velocity with reduced risk to bystanders and property. Bullets versus cartridges. These two terms do not describe the same thing. The cartridge is what you load into the gun, and it includes the actual bullet as well as pockets of primer and propellant. When you fire the gun, the primer and the propellant dissipate and the cartridge casing is ejected meaning that the bullet is the only part that strikes the target. Kick or recoil. Many beginning shooters will ask about a particular gun, how hard it kicks, referring to the recoil effect from shooting. A smaller gun does not translate into less recoil, nor does a larger gun mean more. In most cases, it's the opposite. Generally speaking, the larger the gun, the more energy it can absorb. With a smaller gun, your hand will absorb the energy, which is the recoil effect. So ladies, when your significant other or friend recommends a cute little gun you can handle, they might unintentionally be steering you towards something that will unnecessarily punish your hand. You should always try before you buy and do your own research.